Hey, welcome to The Pound. This is J.C. Wilkinson. We are here for our show, uh, This Side of the Fence. Uh, tonight we have a special guest coming, calling in all the way actually from Marathon, Miss Shelley Buffett. She is a wonderful singer, songwriter, artist, uh, mover and shaker. She is a CEO of a uh, label and... Um, I'd like to say hi to Shelly. How's it going? Hi, JC. How are you doing tonight? Good. Good. So Thanks. happy to be here with you, and uh, I really appreciate uh, this time and getting to talk to you and the audience. All right, on. Well, I'm glad you can make it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, first thing, before we actually kick off and get into, like, really heavy conversations here, um, I'm going to play a track so people get in a little bit of a taste of sort of what your music is about and where you're coming from. Okay. So uh, we're going to play uh, Beyond This Woman, mm-hmm. and, uh, and then we'll have a chat right after that. Okay. All right. I'd move heaven and earth to take your hand Walk the shore through golden sand I'll calm your storms I would steal the wind and part the clouds And let the sun shine in I'd cross deserts to be with you Search the stars until the night is through Walk through my dreams where you are mine Cast my wish forever in time Look beyond this woman And deep in my soul Pass the night And feel past the cold Listen to that voice inside Let your heart
Well, that was Shelley Buffett with Beyond This Woman. You're here in This Side of the Fence with J.C. Wilkinson. Shelley, how's it going? It's going good. <laughs> that was that was an awesome track. You know, oh. it reminds me of, I wouldn't say old school country. It's, it's almost more like pure country. Like yeah. the country sound that I grew up with, the country sound that I fell in love with. Mm-hmm. It's, it's that sound. And you can sort of listen just beyond the music and hear the lyrics. And then you can hear what's going on there as well. And there's some like serious substance in the lyrics too. Mm-hmm. So well done. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a really special song to me. Um, the lyrics actually were written by um, a producer named Randy Moore, who okay. produced my album, Beyond This Woman. But that particular track was uh, written by me. And originally, the producer of music was Randall Cousins. And uh, if anybody knows anything about my career, uh, Randy Moore and Randall Cousins were uh, big influences. Okay. And um, so it's it's kind of nice how we all melted together and, and brought that song uh, along with the incredible musicians that worked on it. Yeah. yeah, no, it was a very solid track, um, very, very well produced and well arranged. Mm-hmm. Um, when did you start your career? Uh, well, my I guess uh, on the road uh, with an actual band, I was 14, and um, I the name of the band was Freeway. Okay. I. Uh, and all of those guys were in their 20s. So <laughs> it was during a time, though, when you were able to go and play in, in bars and such at that age. And, right. uh, you know, it was just a little different. But uh, certainly they, um, they taught me about uh, life on the road. And we were on, like, three years. We did a tour across southern Ontario. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. So you've been in the music industry for a while now. Well, yeah, and considering I'm only 29, it's about 40 years that I've been in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. And yes, I've, you know, as a writer, performer, um, producing, uh, promoting, mentoring, managing, yeah. you know, I've, I've been really fortunate to be able to touch into each aspect of the industry. And, and out of that, uh, you know, met a lot of great people and, and, so, you know, it's, it's not like an overnight thing that happens in the music industry, as you know. No, you got to yeah. you got to grow and, and get educated, and that's what's really important if you want a career. Wow, wow, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, you are you have joined some of the associations that are happening here in Ontario. Mhm. Yeah. Um, and and you're familiar with a lot of the people. Like, okay, let's sort of backtrack for a second. We met roughly about 6 months ago. I think I think uh, it was that long ago. You and I? Yeah. Really? It was just it? Seems, seems like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be still my heart. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I think, uh, I think actually we, we did and um if if I can tell the story, I was sitting at a at a we'll call it a doctor's office okay. and uh I picked up a magazine. Um I think it was the walleye. Right. And uh I read this story about country singer in Thunder Bay who was doing this great work on 4 a.m. Uh, Thunder Bay. Yeah. And I said, I got to know who this guy is, you know, and I like what he's doing. And, and I was really impressed and uh, went to your um, Reverb Nation site, listened to your music, and uh, that kind of sealed the deal. I was hunting you down. I wanted <laughs> to know who you were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and from being being stocked online and uh, <laughs> went, no, only kidding, um, no, it's actually been an absolute pleasure. We we got to meet face to face. I believe it was probably about two months after we were communicating back and forth, and I got to sort of look into your eye and and hear what you had to say. And you know, there was a lot of strength and a lot of truth. And you're a very intelligent person, which is really really cool. Thanks. And you're very passionate about what you do. So. Yeah. Um, that's kind of exciting for me because um, you're actually the type of person that I've been looking for to get some serious work done with youth and with artists here in Northwestern Ontario. Mm-hmm. Now, with your career, your career's still going, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I sort of went into a bit of a hiatus for a few years. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that happens to a lot of us artists. We have to sit back times and just regroup and see what direction we're, we're really need to be headed into and, and right. most of all head back to our roots. Yeah. Um, after my producer Randall Cousins died, I, I, I needed to, to take that time in the past couple of years just to 
you know. Yeah, it's kind of regroup. Regroup, yeah. find the direction I needed to go into, and and uh, I thought, well, you know what? I think I'm going to go for one more chance out there with that, with radio at least. Right. And uh, so this month we released um, a song called Daddy's Little Girl. And uh, we're getting picked up in Canada and across Europe and the States, so that's really exciting. Cool. And um, I hope that uh, I hope that it can continue because it would be nice to have, you know, that recognition of an artist in Northern Ontario getting, you know, some chart action. It would be it'd be fine to see. Yes, actually, that would be excellent to see. Mm-hmm. Um, now. We have been chatting over the last little bit, and you brainstormed this idea for helping the artists in Northwestern Ontario get more recognition. Yeah. And um, you you bounced this NWOMA past me, the Mm -hmm. Northwestern Ontario Music Association. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me a little bit about sort of like where the the vision and the dream for that came about and um, kind of like what, what we're doing about it now. Well, actually, it's it's been a long time uh, brainchild of mine from when I first started recording, which um, my first album was done in Thunder Bay at the Barn Recording Studio with Bogdan Blazovic. Okay. And at that time, um, that would have been 1999. It was it was not easy to find a studio and find musicians and you know get the help that I we needed to to get this album off the ground, particularly when you know. My, my focus was where my roots are, and right. my roots were in northern Ontario, and so that's where I wanted to keep this album. And um, we ended up having to go through this Chamber of Commerce, and they directed us to Bogdan and his studio, and, and that's how things kind of formed. Um, over those next few years, working with the Ontario Country Music Association, which is now defunct and has been reestablished right. as the Country Music Association of Ontario. Right. Um, you, you know, we realized um, there was a real lack of exposure for Northern Ontario artists mm-hmm. and musicians and songwriters. And then uh, in 2002, I left Northern Ontario to go move down south, and I was working on two albums down there. And it just seemed appropriate. Life was changing for me in the north, and so, you know, I needed that time away. And um, came back here, and uh, as I said, regrouped and realizing we still don't have enough exposure for <laughs> northern Ontario artists. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I thought, we really need this. And you know what? I have the contact, fortunately, with people I've, I've gotten to know over the years. Right. And they are so on board. Um, to to support the Northwest Ontario Music Association, we aren't particularly focused on country music. It's all genres, right? And we need that representation. We are a vast area, but a small community. Yeah. And we need to support each other. You know, and um, it also reflects on our economy up here. You know, it's starting to to slow down, and and when you bring something new in, it's amazing the residuals that will come from it. Yeah, and exactly. so that I know it seems like a big dream, but you know what? That's what you got to do. Is dream That's big. right. Big big dreams start with one step. <laughs> exactly. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in. We're gonna play one more of your tracks. Okay. Okay. Um, this one is "Ask Me to Dance." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> These are, these are all my choices. I went through the music yeah, I today, so I get choices. to decide what I want to hear. So it's awesome. Thanks. Okay, so let's let's listen to "Ask Me to Dance" and and we'll come back and we'll chat a little bit more. You bet. Meet 
Right on, that was Ask Me to Dance with Shelley Buffett. We're here at the Pound, this side of the fence with J.C. Wilkinson. Um, we, were, we were briefly talking about uh, the Northwestern Ontario Music Association. Yes. And um, you know what? That's actually quite a long subject for, for sort of what the plans we have are. And I think what I'm going to do is I want to jump over and talk about your, your music group first. And I think what we're going to do is, I'm going to invite you, I'm going to put an op- open invitation right now to have you come to Thunder Bay and like, come sit in the studio with me and hang out and maybe you can help me interview some people and we'll, we'll put you to work too. But no, we, can, no. <laughs> we can talk about... Uh, how did we segue into yeah. me getting a job? <laughs> well, hey, you know, that's just how I roll. It's all good though. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Gel Music Group Canada. And you are the, I believe, the CEO? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, tell me about Joe. Like, Well, Joe Music Group is a, um, it's a record label that um, represents uh, Northern Ontario. Um, my, my focus, again, is to try and make sure that we're recording in studios in Thunder Bay, that artists are, who are here, Right. can have studios to go to and use and have great musicians because we just have such a wealth of talent in northern Ontario. Mm. And, you know, let's, let's keep it up here. That, that's kind of my focus, you know. Right. Let's, let's keep what we have and, um, you know, be a strong body to represent it. So Gel Music Group, um, you know, our database includes uh, the musicians in, in Thunder Bay, songwriters uh, across northwestern Ontario. Right. I'm not going to single out Thunder Bay. Yeah. Um, but uh, the other aspects of it are that through my years of experience in the music industry, um, I've collected uh, you know, a great database of people who are really substantial people in the industry. Right. And, um, you know, and I've learned the template so to speak, of artist profiling, how to develop an artist profile. Okay. Um, in the you know in the industry, it's called um, artist development. Yeah. And sometimes what happens with a lot of uh, new um, singer songwriters bands, they're not quite sure how to dip their toe into the industry. And okay. I mean, I learned that myself back in 1999. Right. You know, where do I go? Who do I find <laughs> yeah. to, to help out with this? Right. And um, so, you know, if an, a new artist comes to, to Gel Music Group or we happen to find uh, an, a singer songwriter or performer or band that we think really could use the help. Um, you know, we'll go to them and we'll explain this is what we can do. We can consult with them okay. um, and help them build their profile. You know, y- y- you need a career and it has to be built. you yeah. got to crawl yeah. before you run, you know. Yeah, because I, I guess the, 
the option of running and and you know winning X Factor or, or The Voice or, or whatever, especially for yeah. Canadians up here in Northwestern Ontario, is, is pretty slim. So we're going to have to actually build it from the ground up, which is yeah. really cool. And it's a really solid idea. And I'm really glad that you're actually focused on that. Yeah. Because I came up here from, from uh, Southern Ontario, from Toronto. Mm-hmm. And um, when I got up here, I was just floored by how many talented musicians and artists and singer songwriters. And it's just like, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's actually why I started 4 a.m. in the first place. Yeah. But um, who are you working with right now? Uh, well, right now, oh, I'm is working it a trade with secret? Uh, like, Shannon Peters okay. out of Dryden. Right. And uh, Jamie Labrador. Uh, okay. She's from out of um, Thunder Bay area. Yeah. And uh, uh, Carly Andrews, who is uh, in the local marathon area. Okay. So, you know, that's, that's three, and kind of my hands are full. Um, <laughs> I also do uh, a lot of song critiquing for songwriters. Right. And um, as a publisher always looking for that one that could be the hit you know okay um and uh always on the lookout for talent definitely yeah Mm -hmm. and i know that you have your hands full and i know we've had a couple of conversations about uh, me coming and helping out at joe yeah yeah which which i'm really excited about (laughs) (laughs) um okay so for actually what we're going to do right now is this track that you've just released to radio Mm -hmm. yeah we're actually going to play that Oh, wow. We're going to give, give everybody a taste of this. And when we roll it out, we're going to remind everybody, call your radio stations and request this song. Yeah. This is Shelly Buffett's Daddy's Little Girl. Shout out. <laughs> Holy smoking track. <laughs> that was Daddy's Little Girl by Shelly Buffett. We are live here at this side of the fence at the pound. Um, that was 
smoking. That's all I can say. It's like, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned for the fathers out there, but it's all good. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very eye-opening track, um, and it definitely gets your attention because while your toes tap and you start listening to the lyrics and you go, oh, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> no, but it's good. It's solid. It's like all your music. All your music is solid. Everything well, that I've heard or, or that I've, thank I've listened to. You know, to. I, I just can't, I, I have to tell you, I can't take credit for it. Like, I'm just a small percentage of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I look, think about the musicians that I've worked with over the years and who have participated um, playing on my albums, you know, locally, we've got Chris Brinke, uh Bert Gant, and yeah. oh my gosh, uh, Jimmy Krajcek, I think is how you say his last name. The drummer, um, yeah. Scott yeah. Van Tieflin. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, like, it's just an incredible list of yeah. musicians that I've just been so fortunate to work with out of northern Ontario um, and, and across uh, Canada, for that matter. You yeah. know, and they all, they are all a piece of that pie. I uh, just happened to be the girl who didn't mind uh, <laughs> yeah. using my voice as the <laughs> instrument right. to, I'll to be the front. Run- I'll be the front runner. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, that that's awesome. And um I, I think what I like most about you, um, just from what I've I've discovered over the last little bit, is when you say that you're focused on something and, and that you're passionate about something, it's like it sort of ripples into everything that you do. Yeah. You know, there's there's a few people that I, I've met sort of in the past and in, in other venues and, and other ventures that have, you know, they, they talk a wonderful game at the very beginning and then like halfway through the venture, like they're going down a different road and they will jump ship and cross the border and do whatever they got to do the first chance they get. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, um, being up here in northern Ontario, or northwestern Ontario and with the artists and utilizing them and, and doing the music association and having the like, gel music group, et cetera, and the artist development programs that we were talking about, mm-hmm. having all those things here is, is really, really beneficial to the region. You know, oh, and, sure. and and that is just a, a phenomenal thing. Because one of the things when I first came up here, I was talking to people and, you know, everybody's all excited about, yeah, we should, you know, support a youth and support our artists and do this and that and the other thing. And then I said, OK, so what are you doing? And, and they all gave me that same expression. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, yeah. Or do you know anybody who's doing anything? And and pretty much the answer was no. So. Um, I am I am very very blessed and grateful to be able to work with with some of these artists and you know you've sort of expanded my roster of people to get to know um, hu- tremendously mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's going to be like a really really wonderful um, a wonderful journey and I'm really excited about it. Mm-hmm. Um, no, for sure. You know the music industry shouldn't be a closed uh, industry. You know it's um, it's about supporting each other. You know it. I send out. Uh, you know, promos, videos, yeah. songs of a lot of Northern Ontario artists. And, you know, the one thing I always I always like to say is shout out, you know. we got to shout out about this talent. Yeah. You know, we got to shout out about uh, indie artists and, and, and the, you know, the people who just do it even for a hobby. You know, they're all important to the, the makeup of music in Canada. That's right, and you know what? I'm gonna when I when you come here to Thunder Bay, we're gonna chat more about this because sure. I think I think I'm gonna actually see if we can we can do an hour show, so we have lots of time to talk. <laughs> um, but today's only gonna be running for half an hour, so what I want to do is say a big thank you for for jumping on the phone here and chatting with us here at this side of the fence. Oh, and it was you. it was wonderful to uh, play your music and and. Um, I get a little jolt from Daddy's little girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, all I have to say is shout out to J.C. Wilkinson and his show, The Side of the Fence. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. You're <laughs> such a sweetie. Okay. So right. that's that's going to wrap up this uh, episode of This Side of the Fence with J.C. Wilkinson. Our special guest today was Miss Shelley Buffett, and you got to hear some of her music, and we will... Uh, we will close this episode out and um, stay tuned. I will post it either on Twitter or Facebook or everywhere the, when she's coming back and, and how you can listen to her music. And don't forget, Daddy's Little Girl just got released to radio, so give her some love. Call mm-hmm. your radio station and ask them to play the song. And All stay right. groovy. And stay groovy. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Shelly. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Light on something in 
my clock's gonna get me But I ain't tough enough to make it all go away Maybe when I'm big and I'm stronger I'll clean it out 